hello welcome guys today i have to show you how to bypass a factory reset protection on on chinese itel s32 so let's jump right into the topic see here i have my itel locked you can see here i need to connect to wi-fi first So here is my Wi-Fi. I need to connect. Now it's connected. Just to show you that the phone is locked. It might take a little while. You know, before doing that, you need to download two files and uh, and send it in your SD card. You have to download a launcher, Apple's launcher, and and this app, Remote Android Seven for ETS Thirty Two. I'll send the link in the video description. Just download this two file and send it in your SD card now you will remove the empty card SD card and put in your Android phone now you can see with your Google account this device was reset to continue sign up with a new account that was previously since here you see the device is locked it's locked nowhere so I need to back back I also forget you have to insert a sim card with some number on on the phone back back now he click emergency no now I just need to insert my SD card on my phone first so wait a moment now I click on emergency here and here on the top click two time click in dispenser continue now on contact add contact yeah you have to choose one number here now click on this number hello 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 and I'll click on the three dot on the right corner and then share. Now select Zender. Start. Now go to select files, go to SD card, and now you have to install this this launcher. You have to install the launcher. Install. No. You are in the SD card. Just install a post launcher. Install. You need the launcher to act to get access to the, the desktop of the to the menu the menu of of the phone and then you will, you will have to do some stuff before installing the second app just wait a moment open Uh, 
oh, quit now we have access to the menu now you have to go to the setting to check setting yeah we have setting here you have to to disable some apps let's go to apps over there apps click here show system app show system app now have to to look for google account manager google account manager google app now you need to disable google account here disable now back now look for look for google service google play service oh, we have to do something before now uh, play store yeah play store deserve play store now you have to go to security to do something security you have to disable administrator setting click here deactivate here deactivate now go back to app go back to app and disable google play service disable the app for stop for stop to now you have to, you have to make sure that you have to make sure that three up are deserve okay no you have to you have to disable google account yeah you can see here we have google google account manager google play service and google play store now all you have to do is to Oh shit! I need to do it again. Add a contact. Say contact. Share. Ooh. Yeah, you need to. <sighs> I was not. I wasn't expecting this. I need to install. To install the, the launcher again. But don't worry, you have you only need to follow this step. Stick car and start the launcher again. Yeah, after installing the launcher, we will have to go to the Fire Explorer and install the second app now when the launcher open up just go to menu search for file explorer here all SD car now install this the second app remote one install with this, this app will help you to to enter the your new Google account
after entering the new account you will have to go and enable all the app that we just disabled to do the process now click done and now back now go to settings now to account account click add account google account just wait a moment now enter my address email Now my password. Now I go. Just wait. Now the account we added. Now we just have to go and, and enable all the app that we. Oh shit! Shit! I need to restart it again. Share. I have to install the launcher again. So, guys, don't worry, this happened. This will happen sometime, but don't worry, you just have to install the launcher and restart the process. that we we are back again now go and on settings and apps now we have to we have to uh, to to uh, to enable it again have to enable it same thing with Google Play Store enable now basically all we want to do is to reboot the phone Get started. Set up as new user. Continue. See that now it's working. Choose something like Nigeria next.
now it's done guys it's done factory factory reset google done Intel S32 version 7 okay thank you guys hope that it was helpful for you just comment if you have any trouble thank you see you